What's good folks? It's K Spade the Prospect, aka the Big Blue Chevy Driver and recently referred to as the YouTube MVP. And today I'm bringing you guys the second episode of my new Road to Glory series entitled A Look Into the Future. So if you're sitting there saying to yourself, Spade, what the hell is a look into the future? That means you ignored my many messages that I put on Twitter and YouTube telling you guys to go to Sports Gaming Universe and check out the first episode of my new Road to Glory series. But if you didn't, it's no pressure. Don't worry, I got you. I'll throw a link in the description. Probably even put a clickable annotation in the video. Don't worry about it. But for those that did check it out, first of all, thank you for doing so. Second of all, you guys already know a little bit about this kid. For those who don't, I'm going to brief you a little bit. I'm not going to give you the whole nine. Otherwise, it will be no need for you to look at that video, right? So the kid's name is D Future. He is a power style running back, and he is a monster. He's going to be like the new Bo Jackson. Like, as soon as I get my mind right with this guy, because I'm not used to playing with a running back, as soon as I get my mind right, wow, like, we're going to go off. I'm, I'm going to let you know now. So... He's playing some middle linebacker here. Don't get spoiled by it. It's not happening, all right? So look at this run right here. I don't even know this wide receiver's name yet because we're so new, but 81, you want to block these guys behind me? Hey, yo, right here, right here. 81, 81. <laughs> well, damn. Not only did he think it was a foot race, but he celebrated when he beat me. I got tackled, and I looked at him, and he's happy. Like, yeah, I beat him. He got his priorities all jacked up. I tried to run to the right to run the defenders into him, and he politely got out of the way and moved to the left. Damn it. This is what I got to deal with right now. But even though in the future, it's funny because that's the play on his name, but even though in the future I'm going to be like Bo Jackson, right now I feel like Tiki Barber back when uh, Brandon Jacobs first went to the Giants. Like, I will run us all the way down the field, get in the red zone and be tired, and somebody else will get the touchdown. I don't know. And, and in my... It's really my fault because I, I, I shouldn't have played the whole Iron Man thing where I play on both sides of the field because the big guy can't handle it. Like, he missed so many snaps on the offensive side because he's tired from playing defense when I don't even care about defense. So I'm warning you guys, don't say spade. You should, you should let him play middle linebacker at the next level. It's not happening. I complain so much about playing good defense with K-Spade and the offense losing the game that I want to be able to complain on the opposite side of that fence. And I know now I'm going to have to deal with my defense not getting the job done, but at least I won't be complaining about the same thing. So you guys are probably noticing. The first guy to get a D future, he's in for a hell of a surprise. He's running up thinking it's going to be a tackle, and I'm slapping fools upside the head, stiff arming, cracking face masks. I'm doing everything. Like, this dude is a monster. And right now, I'm holding him back. Like, Shout out my homeboy, Nate. But Nate watched the first episode, and he hit me up on the phone and said, Spade, that's a power style back. Stop doing all that damn juking and spinning and run some fools over. So right now, my mind is just so used to juking and crap. But I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together. And even though I juked into this guy here, you can see in the replay, I was just about to give him the, the forearm to the face mask, and I was about to be out of Four rings. But the safety came in just in time. I was just about to break the tackle, and he came in and, uh, you know, finished the deal or whatnot. So you see the stiff arm there. Even if I only got a three-yard run, it would be a three-yard run with a broken tackle. Like that first guy, he's in for an awful surprise. Not a good one, like a sexy lady jumping out of cake with no shirt on. No, I mean an awful surprise. Like you thought you had some pizza, but you looked in there, and somebody ate it all but left the box in the refrigerator just to piss you off. One of those surprises. But, um... I also want to say something. I got this one guy I've been going back and forth with. So I'm going to say this. It, he felt like, I don't know, for some odd reason, he, he felt the need to tell me that this is not real. Shh, y'all don't tell him. But he's the only person that thought any of this was real. It's not real. Clearly, it's not real. Clearly, I don't think it's real. But it's my own style of commentary. I give all of my characters a background story. I feel like it makes the series more intriguing. It does to me, even, even if it doesn't to anyone else. To be honest, as cold as it sounds, I really don't care if it does to anybody else. It's kind of my thing. You know, that's what I do. So, you know, if, if y'all bump into this guy who's saying, Spade is not real, just ignore him because he, I, I don't know. The best saying I ever tripped over was never overestimate the mental capacity of others. I can't assume, like, I'm, so often I'll say something that's so clever to me and somebody else will not get it and I have to remind myself that I'm the black grid house. So this is the last play of the game. 
it was fourth down and they was about to take me out again and i said no way in hell i'm getting off of this field without getting this end zone i look at the quarterback and i say you better call a no huddle run it back and d future finally gets a touchdown so with 15 seconds left in the game he finally found finds the end zone it's a 31 to 8 victory and the play of the game is a pass when d future ran all over people all up and down the field but who cares? That really means absolutely nothing in this game. And D is the player of the game. So stay tuned for this series. Also, let me say this. This series is not replacing the Pigskin Pro. I'm still playing that one. It's still really my primary series. But, you know, I just wanted something different. So that's why I'm doing the offense thing now. And hopefully you guys like it as much as you like it, the Pigskin Pro. If you don't, express you know express that in the comments I'm, I'm always down for a good debate i'm not down for a bullshit argument but i would debate until i fall asleep i love debating so if it's a problem with this holla at me i'm gonna be honest it's not gonna stop anything because i like playing it so the videos are still gonna keep coming regardless of what you say but at least you'll feel like you got something off your chest so i'm gonna end this video with some of d futures highlights and dumbass number 81 not blocking for me but um Leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think about this series. I'm pretty excited about it. I can't wait until, you know, he chooses a college and, and go wreak havoc on the NCAA. So this is all I got. My new plug, like I'm telling everybody, follow me on Twitter at KSpade64. And that's all I got for this video, y'all. I'm out. Peace.